Bro, I just realized I wasn't recording the entire thing, but okay, basically I got my starter, I want to get to the battle, got the running shoes, now we're at the lake. That's really all you need to know. Pokemon Platinum is one of three Generation 4 Pokemon games, and arguably one of the best, and today I will be playing my first full Nuzlocke on this game. Now, if you don't know what a Nuzlocke is, I'll explain to you. Basically, you can only catch one Pokemon per route, you have to name all the Pokemon you catch, and if a Pokemon faints, you can't use them ever again. So let's get into the video, and I hope you enjoy. After me and my rival go to the lake, we decide to go to Sandgem Town to meet Professor Rowan. Basically, in the lab, all he says is, hey, take this Pokedex and do my job for me. Then I got to name my starter, and what other name than Big Man works here? And at this point, I didn't have any Pokeballs, so I went to the store and got some. So with these new Pokeballs, I went to Route 201, and I caught a Bidoof, and named him Quinja. And then I boxed him. So I make my way to Route 202, and meet up with Lucas, who teaches me how to catch a Pokemon, which I already know how to do. But then this happened. So if you don't know, you can find Shinx in this route. And Shinx is one of my favorite Pokemons. It's not, okay, what it evolves into. Luxray is my favorite Pokemon. So, we need a Shinx. Please be a Shinx. Please. I love God so much. So I catch a Shinx and I name him Ponce. And after this, I had my first trainer battle. And what could I say except it was extremely easy. I mean, it's like the first trainer battle ever, besides, you know, this guy. So after that, I just made my way to Jubilee City and met up with Lucas. Then we ran into this crazy cop, and he gave me this weird thingy wing. And then I made my way over to Route 204, where I caught a Starly. I mean, I was kind of hoping for a Badoo, but I guess... I guess it'll do. I guess it'll badoo. I guess it'll badoo. I guess it'll badoo. So I caught the Starly and went over to the Pokemon School to meet my rival. And all he really said is, hey, I learned how to do this. And you can too. So I ignored what he said and then this stranger came up to me and said, find three clowns and I'll give you this Pokey Watch. So I found three clowns and he gave me the Pokey Watch. And then I found a Badoo. I guess it'll Badoo. So then Barry wanted to battle, and uh, let's just say this battle was interesting. It was really hard to lose, like anyone. Because if we do. Ow. Maybe I'm real, like, under leveled. I think I might be. Then I defeated the Starly, but he sent out the op, the big one, <sighs> Piplup. I had nothing to counter this Piplup. My Shinx was under leveled and had no electric moves, and my Chimchar was a fire type. And don't even get me started on my Starly. It's useless. But somehow, some way, my Chimchar killed it with Scratch and Ember. Oh shit. Only a crit. Fully people could growl. But wait, I'm goaded, so. Just scratch him and we'll all be fine. What? What? That's. That's insane, dude. That's just crazy. So after absolutely demolishing our rival, I headed up to Orberg City to defeat Rorik, 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 the route type gym leader. But on the way there, I stumbled across our next Pokemon. I was actually hoping for a Zubat. All I need to do is let Ponce tackle him. So we caught the Zubat and we named him Damp. 
Yeah, I don't know why. So, I get to Orberg and I meet up with my rival at the gym. And all he says is, yeah, this guy's tough. If you want to fight him, go to the mines. So what do I do? I spend an hour grinding so I can get each of my Pokemon to level 16, of course. So, here are the highlights of that. He evolves at level 14. Oh. Sweet, dude. Monferno. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, shoot. Let's go. Luxio time. This is Luxio. I paused my recording, but uh, look who's evolving. But senior Beppel just evolved. This is awesome news. Senior Beppel just evolved. Alright, time to grind more. Okay, so I grinded and I got um, most of my Pokemon to level 16 and more. I did not get damp to level 16 and more. Because he's really bad and I'm just gonna grind him uh, just in a better way. It wasn't that fun seeing all the Pokemon evolve. Anyways, I made it to Orberg Mines and I found a uh, Rorik. Rourk. Fuck. So he talked to me for like two seconds and then he just ran away and disappeared. So then I went to the gym, but something horrible happened. What? You thought I died? Nah, I beat the absolute shit out of this guy. Like, with my Chimchar, I just mod punched him and he died, bro. So, after that epic win, I went back to Jubilife City and saw Crazy Cop again. Basically, all he's like is, have you seen this pal pad? And I said no, and he's like, okay. So I then stumbled across Team Galactic bullying Lucas and Professor Rowan. And then me and Lucas kicked their asses. of what happened but basically we defeated them they cry like babies now let's go save this kid's dad now if you don't know what i'm talking about basically this little girl's dad was kidnapped by team galactic and now is being held captive in the valley windworks why? So, at the Valley Windworks, you could get an encounter, and we got a Shellos. I named it Gooper. So, instead of saving this kid's dad, I grinded until almost every one of my Pokemon were level 20. But, I mean, we saved her dad, like, I wouldn't just... I wouldn't just not save her dad, you know, like, I'm not, I'm not evil. So, the Windworks were locked, and to get the key, we had to kill these two galactic grunts. And it was like the easiest thing I ever did in my life. Now, we got into the Windworks, but this guy told on us like a kid. But then we fought Mars, and that was like the most stressful thing this playthrough. We get to that. <sighs> so, that happened but then we went through the forest i caught a banerian named it 34 and there's not really much to say the forest is just boring so i head out of the forest and i make it to eterna city i then meet up with my rival who takes me to the dialga set then we see cyrus and all he says is like is dialga real or is it fake and on my way back i meet cynthia yeah. I then wipe Gardena's entire team. So with the new badge, I head to the galactic base. 
But in the galactic base, something bad happened. We lost Big Man because of a stupid mistake I did. I didn't know fighting was weak to psychic. Oh my god. I didn't know it was super effective. Oh my god. Well, are you fucking kidding me? Oh. Oh no. So, big man. You're gone. But you're never forgotten. So, with heavy hearts, we head back to the galactic base and almost die again, dude. But, I mean, we live, so everything's fine. But when we were grinding Pokemon, this happened. Oh well. So, I guess I really wasn't attached to Shellas, so... When he died, I just shrugged it off. So, back in Route 218, I caught a Magikarp, and we put her back on the team. But, they also die. So, I either have really bad luck, or I'm just really bad at the game. But, don't worry, the bad luck doesn't stop here. This is the last footage you're gonna see of the entire run. Ponce dies. Senior Beppel dies. Everybody dies. All because of the mistakes that I made. I was the one that killed these Pokemon. Now, on another note, I will be splitting this video into two parts. The one where I lose, aka this video, and the one where I win, which will hopefully be my next video. The reason I'm doing this is because these videos are taking a lot of space on my computer, and uh, my editing is really messy, so I hope you stay tuned for the next video. Bye!